Hey guys, this is Iggy back again. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 10 onto the Kingston A1000 PCIe M.2 SSD. So, in case you haven't installed on uh, M.2 drive, so a few things you're going to want to do in the BIOS. Now, mind you, your BIOS may be a little bit different than mine. Uh, I have the EVGA Z270 FTW keyboard. When you go into the BIOS, typically by pressing either delete or F2 uh, on the BIOS post screen, you're going to want to go to advanced. Now, if you go over to SATA configuration, you'll see that SATA port 0 all the way down to 5 are enabled. On this board, when you enable the M.2 port, you disable two of these, and depending, again, on the board, it'll tell you typically on the board, if not in the motherboard manual, what two or one, or if it does at all, uh, what ports it disables. So right now, none are disabled. They're all enabled, but you can see drives down here. You can see drives down here because I've had to move them so that they won't get disabled because in the slot I have it, these two get disabled, but... So we'll go out of here, and then we'll go into onboard device configuration. And then you'll see down here, U.2, M.2 socket 1, M.2 socket 3, 1, and M.2 socket two, 3, 2. I know it is on the M.2 socket 3, 2, so I'm just going to go here, select enable. So then we're going to now just press... F10 to save and exit and select yes. Now we're going to go ahead and reboot. I'm going to go back into the BIOS. Sorry about the background noise doing laundry right now. Okay, so now that we're in the BIOS, we'll go over to boot. And then we have hard disk Windows boot. But if you don't, just select hard disk Windows boot, and this will be your PCIe M.2 SSD drive. Then again, I was mentioning that we're going to install Windows, and I showed you the package. The particular version of Windows I have is Windows 10 Pro on a thumb drive. And sorry for the lighting, I'm doing it extra dark in here so that you guys can see my screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. Okay, and now my Windows 10 thumb drive to the main drive so that it boots off of there. Okay, and I'll just put the hard drive as the secondary. So now I'm just going to go ahead hit, hit F10 to save and exit. Now if you know your BBS or boot screen key, you can always hit that and boot directly to your thumb drive. Okay, so now it asks me 64, 32 bit. I want 64. And I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this so I don't bore you guys. Okay, then from here we select our language and our keyboard method, input method. Next, install now. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and enter my product key. I'm going to fast forward this thing. I love you guys, but my key's my key. Okay, and then make sure to read through this. So important. And then click I accept the license term. And next, custom install. Now you're going to look for your SSD. All right, so it's going to be this one. This is the unallocated space. Just verify it's a 480 gig SSD. All right, and all the rest are partitioned, so I know they're not those. So now go ahead, so make sure again this is selected, and just click Next. Or you could partition it. And now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part. And I'll go ahead and click restart now. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the thumb drive. Now it shows you this part because I have other Windows installations on other drives, but if you don't, just skip that, don't worry about it. Alright, we'll choose use customize settings. I like to see everything they're doing. Personalization, personalize your speech, typing and in input by sending contacts, calendars along with other associated input data to Microsoft. Nope. 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 Location. I don't care. Browser protection. Nope. Nope. This is not Wi Fi. Automatic connect to network shared by your contacts. Nope. That one, uh, send error and diagnostic information to Microsoft. Uh, that's, I'll leave that one as yes. Just in case I have an error. Maybe, just maybe they know how to fix it. Usually not. Okay. They ask you that one twice just to make sure. And me, I'm going to use it. Hi. All right, thanks. Okay, I'm trusting you. All right, so the entire process took just under 10 minutes. Um, yeah, because we spent a lot of time in the BIOS. But anyway, again, this is just showing you guys how to install Windows 10 onto the Kingston A100, A1000, excuse me, PCIe M.2 SSD. Iggy yeah. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.